Hey, what's up everybody? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're looking at a very unique product. This is the Trayvax Wallet, T-R-A-Y-V-A-X, and I actually saw this as an ad on Facebook, and it was the, uh, you know, the, the monetized ad, or the ad that somebody had paid for. I found it interesting, I contacted them and said, hey, I'd be interested in uh, reviewing one of these, so they sent one along for review. Essentially, it's a very unique wallet compared to your average wallet that you uh, you have out there. I've been using my VanQuest wallet for quite some time, very happy with it, but I always want to branch out and try some different things. So let me give you the quick overview and then we'll look at it a little bit more in detail. Essentially, what you have here is RFID blocking uh, metal. It's aluminum and you slide your cards in this section and then over on the back you got this little velcro patch and underneath the velcro you can slide receipts you can slide additional cards i guess if you really wanted to um, you can hold cash and other things there it does come with this little uh, piece of paracord as well as this paracord here and then i got an additional uh, titanium carabiner the idea is that a very sleek very small wallet and you can clip it via, via this carabiner or if you have your own carabiner you know to a bag, you can clip it to your belt. There's lots of different ways you can use it. I've actually seen people run a keychain, basically a keychain ring through here. So they've got their keys hanging off this section of the wallet. So it's all kind of your wallet, your information, your ID, your credit cards, debit cards, cash, and your keys all in one single unit. So, so far I've liked it. Let's take a look at it up close now. All right, so in a little bit more detail here, you've got this Velcro strip on the back. And mine came fully assembled, but they do give you instructions with the wallet on how to run the cord through. Um, so if you do disassemble or whatever, you always have the instruction to put it back together. Essentially, you loosen this, and now as this slides down, you can take your cards out. Let me get this lined up like so. So I didn't want to put all my credit cards in here, but I got like the Trivax card, I got my Subway card, I got a hardware card, my Irving card. And uh, it's quite easy to use. I thought it might be a little bit clumsy, um, but let me just get the cards back in here. Once you uh, once you figure out your system, you know. So I'll go to the store, and you know, let's say I want to get the second card out. I loosen up the Velcro, slide this card out, and say, okay, I want the second card. There it is. I use it, slide it back in, and then cinch down the Velcro and everything's good to go. What I usually do is I keep receipts and cash back here. I have never had a receipt or cash fall out, and I've never had a card fall out. The main thing is that when you you know, get done using the cards or whatever, you just wanna make sure that's nice and snug, and then you should be, uh, you should be good to go. I generally keep this in my front pocket. I generally don't do that with a full-size wallet just because it's too big and uh, cumbersome. I find this to be to be totally fine. Um, putting it in my front pocket doesn't take up a lot of space. As you can see here, probably it's made in the USA, so that's that's definitely bo a bonus, made over in uh, Washington State. I haven't used the carabiner to clip it to a bag or anything because I do keep it in my, uh, in my wallet. A couple other features built in here. You have this little hook here, which can be used as a bottle opener. And if you've you know seen other Everyday Tactical Vids videos, you know that I talk about the fact that it feels like every multi-tool they throw in a bottle opener. I don't use a bottle opener hardly ever, but if you do, now it's built into your wallet. You have a little loop here, so you could, let me just do this real quick here, take off this carabiner, clip it on here, now you got another way to attach it to your bag, your uh, maybe a belt loop, something like that. The other thing is you can use this hook, and there's a little cutout here, and you can run a plastic bag, like a bag if you were you know, sh out shopping for food or Walmart or something like that. Run one through there, run through there, and then you got these little finger grooves and you can carry your bag. Let me show you what that looks like. Here's what it looks like to hook up a bag to the wallet. You got this one hook here and then a little cutout there. And then you got these finger grooves, so you can certainly carry your, uh, your bag quite easily. And then if you, once you, you know, get to the spot you want to unload it, put it down, this hook comes off easily. That hook comes off, off easily, and now you got the bag, and your wallet's been separated from it. Here's a real quick comparison of the VanQuest wallet compared to the uh, Trayvax wallet. You can see that this one is notably smaller than this one. Uh, Weight-wise, depends on how much stuff you put in it, so it's hard to say. But this one definitely is larger, you know, uh, both your width and your height. And then this one is definitely going to be a little bit thicker, just as it normally sits. But if you fill this one full, you know, this one can certainly be quite thick as well. So it's going to be a preference thing, um, but this one does fit comfortably in my front pocket, whereas the VanQuest one and your standard wallet for me just doesn't fit comfortably in my front pocket. As far as your price point, for this style of Trayvax wallet, you're going to pay $24.99. They do have two other um, higher-end ones. They're the Element model, and you can get that in the color Mississippi Mud or Tobacco Brown, and those are $69.99 each. 
Again, this style, $24.99, you can get it in Midnight Blue, Red Tide, Jet Black, Charcoal Gray, and Sandblasted Aluminum. The uh, CNC Machine Titanium Carabiner, it's gonna run you $13.99. You can also get whistle ends to this, you can get a replacement strap, and then they have an extended, what they call high roller strap for the back if you're carrying a lot of cash. But again, 25 bucks is what you're gonna pay for this standard one, it does come in a lot of different sizes. Some of the things I really like about the Trayvax, it's small, it's compact, it's got the RFID blocking material, made in the USA, it's unique. Um, it is just a nice way to carry, I think, quite a lot of gear. I carry quite a few cards uh, between you know, debit cards and some store cards, like my gas rewards cards, things like that, and I've never had a problem fitting all of those in there and still having room on the backside to keep receipts and cash and things like that. So despite the fact that it is quite compact, it does seem to carry uh, quite a bit of gear. As far as downsides, some people just aren't gonna like the style. They're gonna look at it and say, I'm not into that. It's a little bit too odd or a little bit too different. But for me, um, I really enjoyed using it. I'm gonna keep carrying it and I'll report in kind of on the long-term use, but at this point, quite impressed. Uh, one other thing I wanna add here is that you can see Trayvax Wallet for Life there on the front. The idea is that if you put, say, your license in here, you'll have the picture coming through, and so you can use that as you know, an ID that you can just show to somebody real quick. I didn't want to have that uh, up on the front here just because I don't want to have all my personal information out there on the internet, but that's the, that's the kind of design for this front section. But once again, Trayvax, T-R-A-Y-V-A-X.com is their website, and then you can click on their products and head over to their web store if you want to purchase one of these. If you do go over to the website or if you do uh, contact them or in touch with them, tell them Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids sent you so they know that you saw this review. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids here on YouTube if you've not done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.